I, I saw a movie. Yeah, what movie did you see, Liam? I saw Isle of Dogs. I'm I'm, I'm interested in seeing this because. I feel like you maybe have to go and watch Wes Anderson films. What do you mean? Like, I feel like there's a pressure to go and watch them. I don't why? know why. Have you seen any other know. Wes Anderson films? Yeah. Grand Bud- Budapest Hotel. Yep. And Fantastic Mr. Fox. Okay. And maybe one of his other ones. Royal Tenenbaums, maybe? I haven't seen that one. I I know that that's like his big one, right? That's though, the one everyone. that I really like, and I don't really yeah. like Wes Anderson. Uh, Moonrise Kingdom? No. No. Don't worry about it. We don't need to figure it out. It's fine. Okay. Uh, Sam, have you seen any Wes Anderson films? I have seen Grand Budapest Hotel, and that is it as far as I'm aware. What did you both think of that film? We actually saw it together, I think. We did, yeah. Uh, uh, I I don't remember hating it, but I don't think I like... I don't think we came out loving it, did we? I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, I didn't expect to like it. I think that's why it kind of looked quite not my kind of film. But it kind yeah. of intrigued me enough to go and see it. And then I really enjoyed it. More so than I thought I would. See, I, right, I I really struggle with Wes Anderson. I've seen all of his films. Um, and the issue, I, I don't like films where the filmmaker, with especially with Wes Anderson, you're so aware of his presence. It just, it constantly feels like he's just tapping me on the shoulder going, look at this film I made. Look, look, everything, everything's in the center of the frame and it's all, it's all pastel colors. And, uh, it's the same actors that I put in all of my films, and I I did that. I I did that. Oh look, the the soundtrack's quite twee. Um, oh look, that the editing there. That's that's what I'm known for doing, and I just hate constantly being reminded that it's his film. If that makes sense, I get what you're saying because it takes then, me out of the film and the story that the film's trying to tell. But then, is this another one of those issues where it's like I don't know. I feel like that's kind of your fault, possibly because, because like. A filmmaker having a style... I know that his is a, a, an example of, like, a very extreme style in that... you oh, it could does my much, in. You could see Wes Anderson films without knowing who it was and be like... I would be like, this feels like a Wes Anderson film. Yeah. I think the problem as well is, because I don't really like his style, it yeah. makes me then super aware that I'm constantly being forced to see it sort of thing. Yeah, that, that makes sense. However... I don't like, sorry, I don't like when people saying? say, oh, I, you need to watch that film because it's a Wes Anderson film. Or yeah. any director for that matter. You should want to go see yeah. the film because it looks good, not just because... Not because of who did it. Exactly. Yeah, a famous director did. Yeah. Like, I'll be like lenient towards certain directors if, if I've seen like a lot of their stuff that I like, like, say, like Christopher Nolan or Kevin Smith or someone. Um, yeah, yeah. Like Dunkirk on paper, probably not my sort of film, but because it was Chris Nolan, I was like, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I think because I struggle with Wes Anderson anyway... I did have high hopes for Isle of Dogs because I really enjoyed Fantastic Mr. Fox and they're both yeah. these like stop motion animation things. And the uh, trailer sort of has that Fantastic Mr. Fox feel to it. Exactly. Mm. I normally struggle with stop motion animation to be honest so it was a surprise that I liked Fantastic Mr. Fox but I really did. Isle of Dogs so the animation is, is good like I can't really complain with that. Yeah, it's sort of Wes Anderson doing his little Wes Anderson things that he does. Um, I just didn't really like the story. Yeah. To the point where, like, in the last maybe half an hour, when they're starting to, like, wrap up all of the story strands and they're kind of, like, finishing the plot, I just didn't care. Mm. And I was just kind of bored. And that's not good. So... No, that, that is a pretty damning thing to say of a film. Yeah. I mean... I, I like a lot of the cast that, that did the voices. Um, like you had uh, like Bill Murray, uh, Brian Cranston, um, Jeff Goldblum, or Goldblum. How do you guys say that? Goldblum. I say Goldblum. Goldblum. Yeah. Cool. Gold, like Edward Gold Norton. Blum. Like a lot of of oh Scarlett Johansson as well. She's great. Uh, a lot of like big names. Just disappointing. Uh, I gave it like two and a half out of five. But it's a real, it's a low two and a half, and I think it's it, it only got above a two just because the animation is quite impressive. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's not a film I'd recommend, and I don't understand why I'm seeing so much like rave reviews for it. Well, I mean, if you, it might just be a case that it's not your thing. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't get how people aren't bored by the story in the same way that I was. <laughs> but like you say, if you already you're going in with like a I don't like his style. But I was so hopeful because of Fantastic Mr. Fox. I was so hopeful. 
Yeah, but being hopeful is different to like going and being like, I don't like him. I don't like his style. Fair enough. Amanda's going to be really mad at me, by the way, because like Wes Anderson's her favourite director, and I think he's a piece of shit. Um, so, moving on. 